coming out of COVID, it was not easy. But the rebound efforts of the ministry proved up to the task. Here's a special pass for you to truly immerse yourself in some of the ministry's major feats in 2022. As the nation welcomed its Diamond Jubilee, the ministry ensured that the country celebrated in fine style and experienced an evolution in culture. After nine years, the Independence Float and Street Parade returned to cap off the celebrations in a grand fashion. Jamaica has a lot to be thankful for. And after 60 years, we can really celebrate how much we have achieved. The entertainment sector was finally reopened in 2022, and the ministry ensured that special support packages were issued to those mostly affected by the pandemic. Another $20 million special welfare fund was established for sports, culture, and entertainment practitioners who had fallen on hard times. My commitment as minister on behalf of this administration led by the Honorable Andrew, the most honorable Andrew Holness, that we are committed to support the development of all sporting disciplines. The Jamaica Anti-Doping Commission received laptops for students in sport and the insurance coverage was increased for athletes representing Jamaica at the national and international levels. Athletes are now able to access unlimited psychological psychiatric services as well as dietitian, podiatrist, chiropractor, massage therapy, athletic therapy and speech therapy. Madam Speaker, other benefits under this contract include hearing aid services, renal dialysis, radiotherapy and chemotherapy, artificial limbs and other prosthetics, root canal and permanent crown, and even support for miscarriage can be accessed. Additionally, athletes traveling overseas are also covered up to a maximum of 100,000 US dollars. Measures to eradicate sexual harassment and gender-based violence was top priority in 2022. A sexual harassment tribunal was established to investigate complaints, training was arranged to educate soldiers on issues of gender imbalance, and a Canadian $4 million grant was established for organizations promoting gender equality and general empowerment programs. So we had many challenges, not just COVID, but other challenges. But we were able to, to you know, I think, produce and surpass expectations. Mm -hmm. 